Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one with a good word today that's going to change somebody's mind and change their life? Today's question comes from a viewer who says, yo, Elliot, I am a content creator. I've been uploading videos for the past six months and I can't seem to get any traction. My goal is to be a life coach. I want to speak a good word into people's lives and help them turn the boat around, especially those who have been obese and depressed because that's where I come from. A place of being extremely overweight, having poor self-esteem and pulling myself up out of the pit. And now I want to help other people, but they're just not hearing me. So my friend, the very first thing I want to do is that I want to acknowledge you for your dedication to overcoming and triumphing in your life, overcoming adversity and triumphing over hard times, hard, challenging situations. Most people who are obese were that way when they were kids because their parents were obese. You're breaking generational curses. Make no mistake about it, you have already impacted the lives of those who have seen you do what you do, bro. They may or may not have taken action yet, but they admire you, they respect you. And if at any point they decide to change their lives, they're gonna come to you. But you're even better than that, my man. You're getting out there and spreading the good word. You wanna reach out to people and let them know that life can be different and that you have a path to get them from pit to peak. If you're not getting the views that you want to get, it's probably associated with not speaking directly into the life of the right person. The person that you are the one for. Every single one of you, especially if you're a content creator, you are the one for someone. And that's a critical distinction. It's not about being Neo in the Matrix or pretending like I'm Jesus Christ. It's about understanding that me and you were set here to help transform the life of perhaps just one person. A question was posed to me the other day when I was taking a course on becoming a better coach. And that's what the coach asked me. Yo, E, are you the one? And at first, my instinct was to go ego rogue. And I was like, damn right, I'm the one, bro. I got all the video testimonials to prove it. I've been on YouTube since 2007. I know I've changed the lives of many, 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 many people, most of which I will never meet, but that's not a reason to brag. The reason why that stoked me or was triggered in my mind was because I recognized that I am not the only one. That there are millions of ones that are out there right now making videos, creating content, speaking to people through Zoom, coaching them in the gym and helping them overcome their struggles, overcome their lack, overcome insecurity, overcome poverty, overcome mental and physical and emotional pain. And you know that you're the one if you've been in that pit, if you've been in that pain, you've been in that place and you've seen the light, you've climbed yourself up out of it. Because now you can get back in. You can navigate your way back, back into that pit. You have experience. You have a map. You have a way. You can show them a brand new day. Follow me, bro. Let me help you get out of this hole. That's what you do when you're the one. One of the problems with the ones, guys like us, is we tend to forget that we're the one. Because the world tries to convince you that that's a grandiose, highfalutin, swollen ego way of thinking. But those people are usually very jealous of you because you are doing what they want to do, but they have no courage to make it happen. They'll try to hold you down. They'll try to talk you out. They'll try to do everything they can do to make sure that you don't reach the someone that you are the one to reach. So you gotta be courageous, you gotta be strong, you gotta be willing to ignore and overcome the negative attention or poor attention or lack of attention that you may be getting through YouTube or anything else that you're creating. That right person is out there seeking right now. That right person for you to be the one 
for. He's seeking, he's searching, he's looking. He or she is lost in a mess of content and information that is steering them in the wrong direction. You know that you can't lose weight eating junk food. Who cares what the IIFM guys say? Your experience is that you need to do it this way. And that's the way you prescribe for the people, the ones, the someone that you've been sent here to serve. Who have you been sent here to serve? Who have you been sent here to serve? What is your message? Where are you going? And where are you taking the people with you? That's the question for today. Comment below. Done.